Okay, so we uh we continue. That was all about the index, and now we look to the next part here, which is also important point. Um, hope you took your break, right? Let's focus once again. Let's focus once again. So the next point which we are going to look also is very important. This one is known as view. Right, yes, view. So view is very, very, very useful in the terms of security. We use it, view is useful in terms of security. You know, for example here, for security. Why do I mention security? I mention security because a view enables you to have something which I may call like a dummy table or a table which you can give to your customer and then or to the other users and you remain with the original one. A view, I mentioned it here, are right here on the top of this one. What is a view? View is a virtual table, right? The first point to note is the view is a virtual table. View does not, uh, what to say? View does not be created by create a column, I mean, create a table and the column and so on. It's a view or a virtual table. The table which is created from the select, right? View is a virtual table. That's the first point uh, for you to uh, to understand. And also, uh, view, I may say again, view is a virtual table. A virtual table. A view is a virtual table that is based on result of what? of select query. <clears throat> important. These are the important point to understand this view. This is important point to understand this view. View is a virtual table. View is also a virtual table that is based on the result of select query that you have to um, understand. And also, uh, I mentioned here view is a security. View, I mentioned here, view improve, you know, uh, security, improve security, right? View improve security. I mentioned the reason why, since it is a virtual table, a virtual table means what? What does it mean a virtual box? Virtual, the virtual, the virtual. Oh. I think virtual in Indonesia is virtual. Virtual. Yeah. <laughs> virtual. So virtual, virtual something, which is like a copy of existing one, right? So it's a virtual. We have a virtual box. We have a, a different virtuals are there. So view is a virtual table. Means there is an original and there is another virtual table which you can uh, create. Yeah, virtual, yeah. All right, so I mentioned once again here, view contains the laws and the columns of what? Of rear table means we need to have a real table in order to have a view. Without having a real table, you cannot be able to create the view. Okay, you cannot be able to create the view. Now I give you a syntax of a view. Anyone has a question on this? Understood the view? 
What is this, you? This is what? It's a virtual table. Yeah, okay. And the, why do we need it? To improve the security, to improve, yes. You need to access on this table. That's why we need the view table. And how do we create it? Is it created from where? Is it created by selecting query from real table, right? Here, based on query of from real table, add this one. This is, this is what I will need from you during the quiz or in exam. If I ask, define a view, that's what I will need. View is a virtual table that is based on a result of selected query of select query, yes, from a real table. Okay, easy to understand. And uh, let's see the syntax of the view. View syntax, or how do we create the view? We do like the following, we say, we say, create view. These are the two keywords and then followed by view underscore name. And then we say, as select, okay. Select, um, let's say star from table. table name, right? Table name, yeah. semicolon, or create view, view underscore name as select, let's say column one, comma, column two, comma, column three, or column two, you keep going, 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 comma, column N, from where? Table underscore name, right? Or, semicolon, or another way, Create create view followed by view name as select right as a select column one column two you keep going to the column N uh, from table name where you put condition here. You put here condition. This is another way. This is another way. Okay. So these are the different way we can use to create the views. Now, we shall see the interesting part of the view. Is it clear? Okay, so now let's see. Let's come to our love part. Okay. Why can I get it?
Okay, so uh, let's take time to look to this one. Let me one minute. Oh. You now let's look here. Um, we created a table. Let's say show table. So we have a table which is called the product, right? We have a table which is called product. You're going to work on that product table there, right? You're going to work on the product. Oh. Mm. Why is it not clearing? Okay, it's clear now. So uh, we are going to create a view on product table, the one which you created. Let's say select star from product. This is what we have here. So let's do this. We say create view and the view name is going to be product view as select star from product. Okay, if you say show table, it shows we have product view. One more interesting part in this, the view does not occupy memory, does not occupy space in the memory. It's only the real table which occupy space. All right, so here, if we do the following, look here. If you say select star from product view. Sorry, which one is it? Uh, is it correct? No, it's wrong. Product view. Right, we have the same product. We have the same product. Now let's let's add one more table here, one more column here. Let's say, let me clear here. I say, let us and again I select to start from product, and let's say insert into product values, I see four, I say um, pant, and I say manufactured date was 20, 23, comma 11, iPhone 01, okay, iPhone 01, and the quantity, what is the quantity? Quantity we made uh, nine, and the price was thousand. The following, we end it. Look, we inserted into the product here. Now, if we select start, select style from what? Product view. It's already added. It's already added. So the view, it's just, I mean, the view is the what? The view is a virtual. So it's just help you. For example, I create a table. The customer, they don't need to update something. I may do it here in my table. You may do it on your table. So you can have the same view there. Just I mean, the same, yes. What's the, 
Pardon me? No, it's not like a duplicate. Duplicate exists alone. For example, a duplicate, right? For example, create table product the duplicate, right? As select star from where product right it's created right so if we say describe product uh duplicate i give the big name right do duplicate it has all these things right and if say say select star From what? Product? Yeah. Do bricket. Oops. Yeah. Select start from product do uh do bricket. Oops. Do yeah. from, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's fast. This is what we have here. Now let's again insert, let's say insert. That was a good question, insert into, let's say product varies. I say a uh, product, let's say it's gonna be five. And this is going to be um again there's a purpose let me put them again the pants the pants right and here uh let me keep it null and let it be i mean let keep it empty let me keep it here empty no, no, let me keep the quantity five sorry five and thousand. Okay, manufacturer need to accept certain things there. Okay, it's not null. That's not null. Okay. I'm mentioning sure null. Okay, let me let me mention the date. Let me mention the date. Twenty twenty three. Zero um eleven um zero one sorry zero zero one okay all right now sex star sex star from where from product Pants are there, right? Select star from product duplicate view, correct. Select star from where? Product duplicate. Select star from product duplicate. Is it there? So duplicate is independent table. It's independent table which you create. Right? It's independent table which you create. So the virtual is just, it's a, a version of it. It's a version of what you have already. And you cannot, uh, here you can make a modification. You can. In a duplicate table, you can um, add some columns, some laws. You you have you can create it that way. So we just create from, you know, based on the select. So this is what a good question, Matthew. So this is um, one point here, right? Yeah. Good. So the next part here for the view. Um, even if we remove, let us remove. Uh, 
I'm going to remove shoes. Shoes. All right, let me remove shoes. I'm going to do uh, delete from um, product where where PID product ID product ID is equal to what? Is equal to two. Okay, and then let's select star from product view. Product view. It was also gone. So any modification you're going to make there, it's going to be reflected in your view. Mm -hmm. So it helps you to maintain your data, security purpose. If somebody make a modification, you will receive it. You can see. If there be a modification there, you will see it. That's the beauty of the view. Okay, that's the beauty of the view. If you make a modification, but there is a drawback of this. If you drop the view, you will drop also this one. If a view, if a view, in the sense, if you erase from the view, this also is going to be raised. Let's try and see this one. Delete star from what? Oops. What has happened? The rate star from product view. What happened? Mm. Oh, there's a star there, right? Some typo is there. The rate star from Oh, okay. Show tables. Okay. Delete star from product. What I mean? Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Trunk it. Table, truncate which one? Product view. Truncate table. We don't have that one. Truncate table. It's not. It's not there. But I retrieve my data. Is it written proper or what? The table sample does not exist. So, where is that? Show tables. Product view. All right. Okay. Trunk it. Correct. Trunk it. Um, product. All right. Why? Just what I was mentioning, I'm sorry. This is what I was mentioning. We cannot be able to perform this on the product review because it's not stored into database. I mentioned does not occupy space. No memory. No memory. Yeah. View no memory. That's why I cannot truncate it. I cannot find it. Now let's try to view, let's say, um, select star. It's also empty. Are you aware? Yeah. It is also empty. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it depends, it depends on the base table. Right? So it's erased. If we insert, let's say, insert into table 
What tip is that? Productive you. Let's see. Try this one. Let's see. Values. Let's see. One. Punch. I'm sad I dropped my table. Um, 2023. Because I was going to use for another purpose. Uh, and price is what? What is the price? Uh, quantity, sorry. One price is going to be 560. What does it say? What error is that? Product view. What is there? Insert into table. Product. I made a mistake here. We cannot do this, right? No, no. This one we can we can add it. We can add. We cannot delete from it. If you add, it's going to go to the main one. So now here, select. Start from product. OK, so when adding, it's possible because it's going to update the normal table, right? It's adding to this, not add to this one. It just is a virtual. You are putting into the original table. Does not occupy any memory there, right? So the next point here. Okay. All right. So you see now, you see the difference in here. Trunket means it's a security purpose we mentioned at the beginning. For the security purpose, you cannot erase it or remove. It. I mean, you cannot be able to delete the content which you put there. You create a table, you give, to, let's say, you give it to a student or a customer, and then a customer can be able to add. But delete the entire content, it's not possible because delete will be done by who? Admin. Okay? Because it's a, a virtual table. If you want to erase, you need to contact who? The one who has the origin of the real table. Clear? Clear? <laughs> what happened? Okay, so uh, this is it. So what's the difference? Drop entity. Hmm? Drop entity. Hey. <laughs> Very good question. When you drop, when you drop, you're no longer there. If you drop a table, you drop the entire structure. Delete, you just erase what is inside. Delete, you delete particular columns, particular value. Drop, you completely, you destroy the house, right? Delete, just, I remove the window, I close this door, I you just, you make like that. You understand? Trunk it, only remove the data. Delete, you remove, for example, you remove what? A column. A column considered as a window. Delete entire house. Okay, good. So uh, this is all about the view, right? This is the view. Any question about the view?
Okay. All right, so we have uh, we have some time here. We have next point here. The next point which I want to teach you or which you're going to look today. It's also one of the advanced topic. I will not give, I will not write them here. Uh, this is known as the functions or I may call this as built-in function. Built-in functions. Why? Because these built-in functions will help you in a different ways in either um, in accessing your, your, your data or in manipulating your data. So we are going to look to this, you know, uh, built-in function. The very first built-in function, they are also known, these functions, um, the built-in function are right here, built-in functions are used along with cross. I mentioned this word for the first time, I think so. I'm sorry. The cross. Database, if you know database, if they say cross, you need to know what a cross means. For example, select is a cross. So clause, clause that the keywords or the statement which we use either to manipulate or to access it you know, the table. For example, example of the cross here, we give an example um, right here. Cross examples or example. Example of crosses here. You may have, for example, select is a cross. Select is one of the cross, all right? Select is one of the cross. Mm. Insert. You may keep writing them. So these are the cross, right? These are the cross which you're going to use. Now, the built-in function, which you're going to look now, uh, for example, let me show or drop table. Because I, I deleted my table, create all right. So let me create the following. Let me I'm going to create a table from this because this table contains the value which I want. I'm going to create create a table product. Uh, create a table product as select start from product duplicate. Okay, so I get again my table here. Select star select star from product. Okay, this is what we have here. You you have it, right? Did you delete it? Yes. You also dropped your table? Yes. Oh, very good. Sir, I have my table. Okay. Again, you can get from the duplicate. Okay. 
What happened? Huh? We go on? You have an error? Okay, you get a time to create once again. So, yeah, so here we say, okay, I think these are enough. The less, I mean, in I mean, the, the laws are enough, not the class. The laws are enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the laws are enough. So, I mentioned that we can perform some certain built-in by using the clause. The number one which we're going to look today is a built is a clause called like. Do you like? Do you like the clause? Do you like the clause? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the cost? So we're going to the like. The like, this like clause, it helps you to select or it helps you to uh it increase or let's say like is helpful in uh, in terms of such, in the terms of such, where a particular pattern or more patterns, more patterns are uh, selected. Example, for example, I want to search I want to search from my table. I want to search from my table. Um, pants. Let's say you have thousand pants. You want to search based on the pants. You want to use pattern can be. I want to say. I, I don't want. I don't know the name of my uh, pants the way I named it. I just want to see every product which start by P. Right. So this will help you to do that one. So you do like this, you say, select star from product, uh, select star from product, um, where, okay, select star from product, um, where, Product name, like, if, like for example, any any product start by P. That's what I mentioned, right? Start by P. And then we put percentage. Okay, it retrieves. Important. This is very important. So there is a percentage here which you have to keep. That percentage it gives you it, it helps you to retrieve the pattern. So we are searching anything which start by P or pant. Let's say you have a thousand thousands of records. So we use like to do that. So when a letter starts like this, this means when a product name starts by P. Next. When a product name starts by S, S right? Yeah. Uh, on issue, right? When a product name uh, starts by J. There's no way start by J, right? Another one, this is for starting. Now let's say when a product name end by N. N, right? 
let's say when a product end by end you remove this one and the letter comes at the last let's say gene right and that's a small n and okay it's end by n and by n right when a product name one more when a product name ends by t right pants gene is not there right the gene but it starts by p if we set by p all right when a product started by p here gene will come but that's not end by one by p because it's a single name one gene so it only end by n which is called and j. So this pattern is important, right? It is important. So you can use it in many ways. If you want to search, you don't know where it is, you can do it. You can use like, okay? Next part here. Uh, another one, which is very, very, very important. They're very simple, they're very important. And the second one, and the third one, which I'm going to mention, and then we uh, end for today, we resume in the next class, <clears throat> is a something which is called sum and average. Here, we have the product quantity and the price. I want to find the total pro product here. Right? So I mentioned here. Another one is the sum and average. I say here, sum is used to calculate calculate the total of content of values. I mentioned once again, sum is used on numeric value only, on numeric type, right? That is it. Average, I mentioned for average, is used to calculate is mean and average are the same for those learning statistics mean and average are they same same or different statistician <laughs> more so I used to calculate the average or mean of items. It also works on it. It works on numeric varies. Numeric varies. We take an example here. Syntax. I'll give you syntax. Oh, not for syntax, just let's go for ex example. Because through example, we see sex style from product. Right? So I'm going to find the total price. So to do so, we say select. You say select, uh, let's say sum, um, price from what product. 
So it gives me the total price. Take your calculator and check. Confirm if the price is this. If the sum is this. Because we have a different values, right? We have different values. Hmm? This is a sum. All right, so we can do this. Say, select, let's say, um, okay, uh, now the second one, uh, select, um, select sum. Quantity from where? From product. That 15, easy to count, right? Are there 15 or 10? Correct, 15. So we have the quantity, some quantity, 15. All right, 15. So um, you can do like this. You can create another table, and the table you can call it uh, some product. You can create a table. And let's say table total price, right? Total price as select some price from product. Okay, like this. Let's say create. Table, sum, or total price, or let's try to see this one. Yeah, create table, total price, as select sum. Price from product. Okay, so we have a table, and the table name it's called what? Total price. So if we say show table, we have a table called total price. If we describe total price. It is, the name is like this way, right? The name is like this way. This is your name. So if you say, I now what I want you to do, you can change the name. You can change the name. Can you change the name? You can rename this. You can rename this. The name you can only give the sum or total. Right? The total. So this is the table which we create. Uh, that's a sum. We look the sum of the two, right? We look the sum of, let's say, this is a sum. This is a, I'm sorry. This is the way, uh, I'm sorry. This is the way we calculate the sum. Sum is function, price is what? Column name, and this is a product name. Just emphasize once again, syntax. Just for, for those who want to write down here, you can write the syntax as well. Syntax, Sorry. yes please. H is missing, Y is missing, oh sorry, sorry. I cannot go up again. Yeah, syntax, because it's in a castle there, it cannot be yeah. Now syntax, how do I write the syntax here? We say, select, sum, and then here, column name, and then what will happen? From table name. This is what we do. Average is the same. Average is the same. 
for average here. Select AVG quantity from where? From product. This is the average. The average product. But we don't check the average product. We can check average price, right? To be make better content here. Average price. So look, in your shop, the average price which you are spending or which you are earning is a 632.25. I don't know how much you have in your shop there. How much you have, Morgan? Wow. Wow. So this is like the, these are the what? These are the keywords which we can do, which we can use. We saw like, average, sum, view, what else? And index. Please revise this thing, okay? Revise them. If you have any doubt or any difficulties, uh, please feel free to meet me. All right, so this is for today. We will look in a continuity. Next class, we shall look one more important point, which is known as a join. It will be lab. I will not take a theory in the next, I mean, theory will be there, it will be mixed with the lab. I will work on the join and the continuity of this, but the main focus will be on join. I mentioned once again, we have a short time, but we need to exercise and do more. If you need exercise, please text me so that I can know your need. I don't want to overload you, right? All right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.